So hello everyone, this is Akko's V3 switches cream blue variant that Akko sent over for review and I'm really really impressed with the new uh, cream switches lineup, the V3 switches lineup of Akko. Um, to give you again a brief history, um, uh, I have tried several Akko switches, not that much. Um, I've tried the Akko Jelly Blacks. Those were the first Akko switches that I have tried. And uh, to be fair with those switches, they're okay. They're good for the price. But um, I felt that the sound was too loose. It was too loose and too clacky for my taste. And then next up, uh, a few months ago, I tried the Akko Palm Pink switches, which were okay. Um, the Akko Palm Pink switches were... were they're okay. I would recommend them, especially if you like the color, the colorway. But in terms of smoothness, sound profile, um, they're not the best. I personally think they're not the best out there, um, especially right now in 2022, where you have a lot of budget switch options that are so good, so good to be true compared to when I started this hobby last year. So so Jelly, Jelly Blacks, the Palm lineup, and now i was sent uh the cream v3 switches initially i thought they were gonna be uh okay meh all right but after using the yellows i love them so much they're so good they're so good it's one of my top tier switches right now uh if you ask me what switch i'd recommend uh probably would be on top of the list the cream yellows um you can use it stock and Times are really changing. Uh, a year ago, most of the switches I would lube and there are very few switches that I would use stock. And come last quarter of 2022, where we are here right now, there has been a lot of switches getting out of the market that I am perfectly happy to use stock. And the V3 cream lineup is one of them. And when I was sent the cream blue switches, uh, the Akko cream blue switches, I, I wasn't too excited, primarily because I'm not that of a tactile guy. So these are tactile switches. I will show to you in the screen the specs of these switches and the material composition, which honestly, um, it will make a difference. But for me, what's more important is the actual experience. And that's what I will dwell into. So I'm not much of a tactile guy. Um, the tactiles that I've used so far extensively would be the Boba U40, the Glorious Holy Pandas, the Pewters, Cotton Candy, both of the last two were light tactiles. And now we have this, the Akko Cream Blue Switches. And uh, I, I, I just placed it in my keyboard for the heck of using it and creating a review and I was really surprised. I was really, really surprised. They're so good. Um, the tactility is decent enough. It's good enough for my taste. And again, mind you, I prefer light tactile. So I'm not looking into that very heavy tactile bump. And this one I think is perfect. The sound profile and the smoothness stock. Amazing. You can use this stock. Very cohesive sound profile. It's not loose. It's not all over the place. And then I did lube it. Um, using the tub lubing method for the stems and um, the bag lubing method for the springs. So I just lubed the stems and springs. I didn't lube the housing at all. And boy, oh boy, really, really surprised at how it turned out. Uh, I'm loving it. I'm really loving it. So um, price point is very good. It's in the budget switch category. Uh, sound profile tends to be on the clocky side. It's in the middle ground, at least for the boards that I have tried it in. Again, very hard to differentiate. You can't say that this switch is always stocky or always clocky. It really depends on your board and your setup. So probably in terms of sound profile, um, if the pewters and the cotton candies would be on the deeper end of the spectrum, uh, this would probably be a bit clackier probably maybe a notch or two clackier than the pewters and the cotton candies. Um, tactile bump, that, that would be of concern for most tactile lovers, okay? So again, I'm not an expert on tactiles, but this is how I would rate them. If the Boba U40s and the GHP would be around four to five, if they would be up there in terms of tactility, and I know there are more tactile switches, but 
again, based on my experience, if the Bobo U40s would be on 4.5, uh, the pewters and the cotton candies would be somewhere around 1.5 to 2, and the Gatoron Browns would be on 1 in terms of tactility, 1 to 1.5. I'd probably place, place this on 3, 3 to 3.5, so somewhere in the middle. So um, it's not considered a light tactile. It's not a light tactile switch. I can really feel the tactile bump, but at the same time, it's not too heavy at all and it, it's not tiring for me if I use it on a daily basis. Again, mind you, um, uh, the, the stems and the foot of these switches were lubed, so that could be a factor, but I've tried using them stock and the stock is not, not that heavy as well. Still very decent tactile bump for me. So, um, would I recommend them? Yes, definitely, definitely. If you're looking for a new tactile switch, do consider the Akko Cream Blue switches. Um, do consider the, the V3 line of switches. <laughs> really good. Uh, good job, Akko. Um, really impressed. I'm really impressed. Uh, honestly, I haven't... Uh, the Akko switches weren't into my my preference uh they were in my radar for a longest time but i've tried the jelly blacks wasn't too happy i know a lot of people would vouch for aho switches but i'm late in the game and the v3 i think are really good um i've tried two v3 switches so far the blue and the yellow both amazed me impressed me both i can use the stock lubing is optional in my preference i think uh, i think so that's it Quick review of the v3 switches thank you for listening and watching guys please do like and subscribe hit that like button to help this channel grow help my channel uh, go into youtube's algorithm of useful contents so thank you again and uh, i will see you in the next video we have several keyboards lined up the aho top 75 acrylic version is coming in i have the ktt chalk switches some brand new switches and keycaps from Aqua as well. And I was into the group buy of the JRE65 and the QK60, which probably would be out by January of 2023. Really exciting times for this channel. Thank you for your support. Awesome, guys. I will see you in the next video.